Hey, I want to demonstrate for you how to edit a Man on the Street series. Usually I'll have all the files of the Man on the Street series in a folder for Man on the Street by the topic. Um, today I have them all in that one export file I gave you. So that's all just that one file. You're going to have to look through and figure out which ones are good and we'll use and which ones we'll just pass on. We had discussed that in class, so you should have a pretty good idea of that. So what you need to do is you need to go to File, New, Project. For this one, I'm making it and it will be in here. If you check the folder called MOS and it's not in there, you need to make your own. So of course I'm going to call this MOS Holidays I'll call it edit because I want it to have a different name automatically than that one. Otherwise, it might save over that one, and that's going to be dangerous. This is going to save as a Premiere project, though, so it won't save over it, but if I export it, it would. So anyway, I said OK. Oh, shoot, I didn't tell it where to go. So now i got to say Save As because it went into the Auditorium folder. That was the last place I used it. So this, we're putting everything in the same folder, is AV on the network drive, of course, latest footage, MOS holidays. Save as MOS holidays. Okay, there, now it should be in there. So if I go in the MOS holidays, there it is. And if I go in the auditorium folder, there's one I'm gonna delete. Move to trash. If it will let me, it might think it's open, so it might not let me. Yeah, please, okay. So now I have the one in the right folder, and I called it MOS Holidays. Let's see if I can close this project. Okay, now I have this. I'm going to go to File. Oh, actually, I can just go to the folder. Let's do that. It's more direct. Latest footage, MOS Holidays, anything you use for this should be in this folder. Import it from this folder into your project. If you import it from the desktop into your project and later somebody wants to open your project, we will not be able to access that file. So all files you use for this project need to be in this folder. Okay, so I'm dragging this straight in here. If you have a series of projects, you'll put them in here. Um, okay, so that's this. Now once it's in here, I can preview it up here and I'll just do that. So I'm not using this one because she's eating. This one might be okay. Spare money. I like to eat, sleep, spare money. The audio sounds okay. For my family. Yes. I'm pressing space to play. And now I'm going to press I for the endpoint. So what do you like to do for the holidays? Okay. I want her answer, not the question. I'm pressing I again for the end point. I like to eat, sleep, spare money. Yeah. I don't need the yeah. yeah. So I'm going to out point there. And now I want both the audio and the video. So I'm just going to drag this down to the timeline. And there it is. I will go ahead and move this out. Okay, I'm going to get the next piece. So often, if you have a, several MOS clips, you'll have them right here. You can... Pull it up in the preview, mark in point, out point, and then bring it down here. So what do you do for the holidays? What do you do for the holidays? If his answer's good, I'll use this. I'm not crazy about this in the shot. I like hanging out with my mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. We go watch a couple movies every now and then. I like his answer. The audio's not that great. I like hanging out with my mom, dad. Okay. So I'll pull this down. Now, you noticed the audio is different. So what you need to do as part of the Man on the Street editor is adjust the audio so that it's consistent. I like to eat, sleep. So hers is getting up to about negative three. We want all of them to get up to negative three. So I come, if I come over here, I like hell, my mom. his is a little loud. So we're going to pull it down a little bit. Dad, grandma, grandpa. So that it's consistent from one person to the next. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to adjust the shot. I've said in the past I don't want her in this shot. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to go to effects controls. And I'm just going to scale it up. So that we can zoom a little bit. And then just remembering the rule of thirds. I'll try to position her. There we go. 
on a third. So that's a better looking shot. Eat, sleep, spend money. I have. We probably don't need that smack, so I'm just gonna cut that part out too. Sleep, spend money. Now, these clips may not go back to back. You may find it's nice to go from a different one to a different one. On this one, let's adjust the shot to, let's see if we can get this better looking. You can do some cropping. So let me show you that. If I go to, I wanna add a mask. I think that's how you do this, yes. I could just crop out the rest of that picture. But I don't want it to look like this. That's gonna be awkward. So maybe like this. Oops. Maybe go all the way up. There we go. So now he doesn't look like he's talking about electrical stuff. So that's a little bit better. If you want your lines to be straight, you can use these as reference. If you don't have these on, you need them on so you can see whose head fits in the frame. So right click, safe margins is how you get that on. And now since I have all this blank space over here, I either need to reposition his photo or add text over here. So here's where I might add a title. Might be good to have a nice picture or something. You can see that made the graphic panel. And what was the question? I can my mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. What do you like to do for the holidays? Okay, now it just takes some adjustment on that. Oops, that made it bigger. Let's make it narrower. Okay, let's use this text tool here and adjust. As you can see, this is not cute. So another way you could do this is you could make a picture that asks what do you like to do for the holidays and position that differently. Or just work with the text a little bit more. So if we're going to have it like this, we need to center align it. And then we might need to change some of the details there. Now I'm going to have to adjust the position again. I want to make it look Christmassy or Thanksgiving-y, something. What might say Christmas? Maybe. I don't know. That almost says creepy. That. Need to adjust the letting on that if I was going to use that. Let's see. Does this adjust the letting? No, nope, that. This should adjust the letting. There we go. And that's looking better already. And then just make the text something like. Um. Where's my text tool? Make the text red, change the color. Why did it only do half? You could do the other half green, or you could do a, a green shadow. Or a green stroke. See, it's a transparent shadow. What's the point in that? Um, let's do a green shadow. Okay. So you're just trying to make it visually appealing. As you can see, I didn't have that all selected. So um, it's going to take more fiddling with, but I'll leave that there for you to work with. It, I think it looks good with this guy. Let's see if maybe, nope. Haha, -ha. fixed you. That's cute. Okay, anyway, you could probably do cuter. You can make it fade in and out with effects. Fade. I just searched fade. Oh, that's an audio fade. I need a video effect, and it doesn't come up with fade. So let's just do... It's a transition is the video type I need. Oh, here's video transitions. 
I could do a dissolve. I could do 3D motion. I'm just going to do a dip. Dip. Okay, now let's see. Like hell, um... No, that's messy. Okay, let's just do cross dissolve. Like hell, um, dead. Oh, that transition does not make that look good. How about additive dissolve? I'm just taking delete to get it off. Like hell, um... Okay, but as, um... Man on the Street Editor, you're responsible for adding titles. So you need a title at the beginning that says, what do you like to do for the holidays? You also need some music added to it. You know, since you are not experienced at comparing voice level music to the actual music, pick some music and we'll add that music under it in the final episode. Just save the music in this folder instead of putting it here. We'll adjust the music in the final episode. So we will have music, or put the music in here, but mute it, so that when you export it, we know what the music is, but we can adjust the levels. Okay. So anyway, got him. Um, I need to get back to my project. I like to be with my family and my friends. A lot of background noise on that one, but that one may work. And... So maybe he would be a good starter since he's got that title by him. And now we can move all these guys to different spots. You don't want too many girls in a row if we have enough variety to work with. Um, just want to remind you of a few things. Position. I think her scale is pretty good. We just want her head to go up a little bit, but if we adjust her eyes, now we need to scale it so that there's not some black at the bottom. Okay, so it's like that. And I'm gonna check the audio. I like to be with my family and my friends. That is good audio right there. Okay, so I'm going to save what we have so far. Save. And that's there. You can search the rest. I showed you the basic title. Just remember you could use file, legacy title. Another thing I did for my titles in the past is on my phone, I have this Typerama app. You could type that into an app that designs text and looks good and has a picture background. And then add your picture to here, import it to here, bring it into here. And then you have a picture title that you made with a nice easy app instead of having to custom make it in Premiere. So use your resources, do what you can, save it. You need to then go to file, oops, in Premiere, file, export, oops. Once you have it all lined up, file, export, media, H264, YouTube 1080, you got to change the name of it just so we can make sure and then put your name at the end so I know who edited it. It's it's the um, MOS Holidays. Um, okay, it's you can see it's saving on the desktop. It needs to be on the network drive. So I can adjust to the network drive here or save on the desktop and then drag it to the network drive. It needs to be in this folder. If I have an assignment for you in Google Class with this, attach it there as well. We just want to be safe, make sure we have access to everything so that we can use it for SB News because if I have to dig around for it and can't find it, it may not make it in. So that's how you do this. Make sure the audio is all good. Find some good music that you think will fit. Adjust the levels, but mute it before you export. Then I can check and see if we can use it that way. If you feel like, no, I know this music is perfect with the voices, you can have me check and I'll listen and maybe we'll just use your export with the good music, but um, we definitely don't want the music too loud because then we can't use it. So safer to mute the music and have it there as an option. Remember, everything needs to go in here, then in here, or when we open this project, stuff's going to be missing.